In this episode of Rural Roots Canada, we are introduced to one of the speakers of the Advancing Women Conference East. Alison Sundstrom is the CEO of Grow Safe Systems, which is located west of Airdrie, Alberta. Sundstrom tells Rural Roots Canada the story behind Grow Safe Systems. Uh, GrowSafe is a team of engineers, computer and animal scientists and we've built a data acquisition platform that uh, on which we are uh, building a number of applications for the livestock production chain. We're applying both science and technology to improve animal welfare and farm profitability. Sundstrom says she is excited to once again be a part of the Advancing Women Conference. When you're working in your own business, you're working so hard all the time, uh, and it's, it's just really incredibly tough. I don't think you realize how uh, gender inequity still exists within our industry. And I think that the ability to network and to, uh, to be together with women who have uh, similar attributes, similar thoughts, and the ability to share some stories out of the trenches is uh, a really positive thing. Sundstrom gives us some insight into her speech at the conference. I think that we're at a convergence of technology and an explosion of, of uh, new ways and new things that are coming about due to the Internet of Things. And we actually didn't realize we were doing the Internet of Things until someone told us, but uh, the Internet of Things is basically identifying objects and connecting everyday things to the Internet so that you can make sense and decision-making um, information out of it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that, and I'm also I'm also going to talk about uh, some of the things that we're proud about in our company and I'm going to talk about some of the things that uh, worry me about being a woman in Canada running a business. She encourages women in agriculture who haven't been to this conference before to look at attending one next year. I'd say this is a great opportunity if you're in agriculture, if you care about what's happening uh, with your food and uh, with, uh, with agriculture. I think this is a great opportunity to meet other women who are focused on their careers and focused on uh, doing great things in agriculture. The bids were fast and furious at the Canadian Thoroughbred Horse Society, Alberta Division's recent fall classic in Edmonton. This is Rural Roots Canada, and I'm Eric Smith getting to the stem and meat of agriculture. The sales numbers not only topped last year's numbers, the top yearling in the sale went for a price not seen in 35 years. Manager Gene Cruz says the fact the top yearling went for $95,000 and their average on sales was up. I was expecting between, you know, the fact that people were talking about hay and the high cost of hay and the economy, that we would see numbers that were down and it wouldn't have surprised me to have that. Instead, I was pleasantly surprised that we were showing what we were showing in regards to, um, you know, a median increase of 37% higher, um, a little bit, 2% higher in our um, average. So in we, we definitely did a little bit better than last year, so completely unexpected expected but uh, we'll take it. Crew says it's an incredible way for them to wrap up their year. It shows there's still a lot of support in Alberta for the Alberta bred thoroughbreds. The 2015 CTHS Alberta Thoroughbred Sale was held at the Edmonton Expo Centre at Northlands on September 20th. For more on these stories go to ruralrootscanada.com. For Rural Roots Canada, I'm Eric Smith getting to the stem and meat of agriculture. This has been a Rural Roots Canada production. 